Zombie, the director of House of a Thousand Corpses, Halloween, and the Devil's Rejects brings you the greatest love story ever told. Oh, uh, I, I don't like the sound of that. That's a strange way of saying hello. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to get used to it. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Damn shame. Drew Biggie, here to talk this shit. The Monsters by Rob Zombie. Um, I watched it. Yeah. I, I I watched I watched it because as a kid I used to watch the black and white monsters and I enjoyed it. It was it yes it was very campy it was very cheesy, but it was done right. The jokes worked, the jokes hit, and the timing was good. This, however. I was worried from the jump because Rob Zombie's name is on it. Of course, he has to have his wife play Lily. And she can't act to save her life. Does this the whole time when she talks. The guy playing Herman Munster, I'm not even going to take time to look him up. Um, I actually enjoyed him. I thought that he was um, the most entertaining part of the movie um and it was he actually was so like no 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 qualms there uh i even enjoyed the count when he was on screen because you know he's really his dad and he's you know not happy about her marrying herman so this that's what that's that's what the movie's about it's when herman met lily and how herman came to be and all this origin story so to speak you see, there's no kids. Um, originally, it was it was thought that it was rumors. I don't know where the rumors came from. That Peacock gave Rob Zombie forty million dollars, and that was his budget for this movie. This movie did not go to Peacock, and Rob Zombie did not get forty million dollars to make this. As if you watch it, you see that this is not a forty million dollar budget quality. This is Nickelodeon type quality in the nineties. Nickelodeon type quality. It, it, you know what? I will say this: the first 15, 20 minutes, I was digging it. I was okay with it, and then they just started acting a damn fool, and shit didn't make no sense. It's it's just and and okay, just from Rob Zombie may know how to do horror, according to some people, but comedy comedy is all about timing. Okay, knowing when the knowing how to hit that, deliver that joke, when to pause, when to let the audience, you know, let let the joke marinate, and then. I don't know. It was just, it was stupid. You got the brother, the one and only brother in the Rob Zombie movie. He's playing a werewolf, and he just is driving as can be. Oh, I I don't like the sound of that. Because that's how he sees black people, I guess. And, yeah, um, the ending is dumb. I, I just, I wanted more. If if they would have had like a comedic writing team doing doing the jokes, it, it probably would have worked. And and you know what, kids are probably like it because they won't be focusing on the stuff that an adult will. 
So it's it's very kid friendly. There's no cursing. There's no nothing sexual in there at all. At all. There's not even any kissing. Um. So it's very very kid friendly. It's PG. It's as PG as it gets. Um. I I do not recommend it if you are an adult. Don't waste your time. Just seek out the old classic and just leave it at that. Don't get this burned in your memory. Uh, movie grade, this is an F. Period. Don't waste your time. Unless you just want to get drunk with your friends and make fun of the monsters. Other than that, and as long as it's, it's long, that's the other problem. This should have been 120 minutes. No, no, I'm sorry. An hour and 20 minutes. Not 120 minutes. Hour, 20 minutes. 80 minutes out. And be done. No, this movie was an hour and forty minutes. It's damn near two hours. Why? It was a sitcom. Get in, get out. Let's go. <sighs> but did you all? Anybody watch this movie? Did I, did I suffer alone? Please don't tell me I did. Um, let me know in the comment section what you all thought. Of the Monsters on Netflix by Rob Zombie. (laughs) It's up on uh, social medias, Instagram, Third Generation Wrestling Podcast, Twitter, Podcast underscore Third, TikTok, Third Generation Wrestling Pod, email us at thirdgenwrestling at gmail.com, and hit us up on Patreon at Third Generation Wrestling. It's one dollar right now. I'm going to get some more content over there shortly. But if you want to support the cause, it's a dollar. You spend more than that on your coffee, your cigarettes, and your alcohol. It's one dollar. All right. (laughs) Take care, everybody. Speak to you all again soon. Peace.